In the healing schools, yes, sir. I saw the clips. Oh, yeah. You came out, went right into action. <laughs> no warm up session with you. <laughs> but guys, I mean, you came out, bang, 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 bang. It was like a machine gun going up. I thought, whoa. That was powerful. Yes, sir. You know, it's a healing school. And uh, in the healing school, uh, I just come to heal. That's all. So when I walk in, from the moment I enter till I leave, it's healing. And I saw that with my own eyes. And Sorello and I were looking and saying, oh, look at that. Because, <laughs> you know, it's an amazing anointing on him. Amazing anointing. And every one of them healed. I mean, that lady who was nearly dead with cancer, I mean, like, she was gone. Whoa. <laughs> she jumps out of her stretcher. She runs. Then you had her come back. She looked like a brand new woman. She didn't look like the same lady on the stretcher. Right. I mean, every one of them. Wow, you're right. Your wow is too small he's, right he's, now. He's been to the hill. Huh? You were in one. Tell him what you saw. Come here, come here. What's with the blue? Blue socks too? My Lord. <laughs> wow. Mr. Blue. Let's call him Mr. Dr. Blue. Dr. Blue. Blue tie, blue, everything. Look. Let him see your socks, brother. Blue socks. Look at <laughs> So you were where? Where, where? Uh, in Johannesburg, uh, we brought we brought uh, our team to Johannesburg because we wanted to witness the healing school. We had seen things about it, and of course, the healing ministry we move in. But there was a very unique uh, anointing on Pastor Chris, and what we wanted to do is we wanted to find out what was going on. They are actually teaching for for a couple of weeks before the man of God comes out. So what's happening is they're not he's not ministering healing into empty hearts and heads he's ministering healing into lives that have been taught the word and what i could literally see as the man of god was coming through i could see the word that was in these people coming out to meet the anointing that was flowing from the man of god <sighs> wait wait don't go don't go we walk we walk we walk into pat and shirley boone's house I was there my, myself, Pastor Tom was there. Now here's poor Shirley, she's like gone, guys. She's, can't get up out of a wheelchair, nothing. I've been there praying for her many times. You know, she's okay. Then the next day she's not okay. He walks in with me. He looks, he says, come out! That's all he said. That's all he said. In the healing school in Johannesburg, he would just go by, you're free. You're free. You're free. <laughs> People were free. When he said, come out, she was out of that wheelchair. You were there. She pulled her, whatever was on her, all those things came off. And she was free. And I said, whoa. <laughs> like, he, didn't, he did not even sing, hallelujah, nothing. <laughs> he just, he didn't. He, he, He just, he just, he just said, come out. <laughs> when he said, come out, my heart went whoop. But she came out of that wheelchair, and I'm thinking, no, no, hallelujah, no, how great thou art, no, nothing. I said, come out. Wow. And you did the same thing in the healing school, and we saw that on that video, just you walk, you're free, you're free, you're free. Guys, I'm telling you. It's Gloria. I believe every preacher of the gospel should come and witness it. Whether you move in the healing ministry or not, if you do, you'll be strengthened in it. If you don't, you'll have a hunger for it. What came off on our team, because we move in it, but I mean we went to a whole nother level. He walks into, Pastor Chris, Pastor Chris walks into my, my house. I will never forget that as long as I live. Pastor Tom, you're there. 
and two or three others I can remember. Uh, now there's my son Joshua. You know, so Joshua was was not exactly being a good boy back then. So here's Pastor Chris. He grabs his face like that, and he stares at him. <laughs> Just stares. I'm thinking, oh Lord. He, my son goes, and hits the floor. He hits the floor. Did you see it happen? Yeah, he saw it. He goes, I mean, he goes from nothing to, he grabs his face, he stares at his eyes, didn't say a word. My son goes, I said, Lord, I need that every day here in this house. That's, wait, wait. That's the kind of life we all want. How many, how many are, get, are catching on? I mean, he's living it, guys. It's not talk. It's not empty stuff. He's living it. He, he walks into my house, grabs my son's face, and just looks at him. Didn't, he didn't even pray. He, he, he didn't say in Jesus' name. He, he just looked at him. And my son goes, bah, bah, do, do, bah, bah, do, do. Oh, wham. He, he starts crying. And then he says to me a few days ago, he says, Daddy, those eyes. <laughs> There's something about those eyes. It's the power of God. You know what amazes me is in, in, the, in, the, in the book of Acts, look on us. Whoa, that's power. They had to, you know, they said that for a reason. Like, why? Why look at you? Okay, Look on us. Wow. Whoa. I think that man was just glued in the part of God here. So that, he's living it. Pastor Chris is living it. So all of you that, all, all, all of you that know me, and you've been coming here a while, I've known him now since 2016 because of this sweet lady right here. So now. And, and when I came and I saw the glory of God in that church, I began crying. Sinash is singing. Martin is singing. I'm thinking, this is heaven. I ministered on the Holy Spirit. Wow. And then I got to know you. You haven't changed one iota. You're the sweet, gentle, quiet, <laughs> Pastor Chris. I've had, I've had to say, I've, I, I've, I've, I've had to say, like, you know, sometimes he preaches, I said, pick up the volume. Pick up. You know, I want to I hear what he says. Because he talks very quiet, you know. Me, I, yeah, 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 I'm always screaming, you know. But, but Pastor Chris is, you know, he's gentle. So when I was, up, 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 you know, I want to hear this. But he's a gentle servant of the Lord. And a mighty anointing on him that we need in the church.